Hello and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate and I love a good wedding. Food, drink, friends, happiness, a chance to get my dad at the disco dance moves out. For me, it's all good. But of course, accidents do happen and sometimes things don't quite go to plan. Behold, the top 10 wedding photos that went horribly wrong. Horsing around at number 10, we have this bridal beast. The unfortunate angle of this photo makes it look like the bride has a wide load with the tail. Weddings are supposed to be fun, but horsing around on your big day is no laughing matter. Hello, 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 what is happening here at number 9? What would be a sweet snap of a bride and groom in the evening sun on some lovely steps has been totally ruined by a gentleman in the background bending over his purple clad lady friend. It literally looks like they're doing it doggy style. Talk about a photo bomb. Another photo bomb at number 8, like dude, get out the way. Imagine lining up, getting ready for your picture and then a member of the public purposefully jumps in the way. Not cool sir, not cool. What is happening at number 7? Oh my goodness it is a catastrophe. They say never work with children and animals but really you don't get a choice at a wedding when all the kids need to be in pictures marking the day. Look at this absolute calamity of a wedding photo. I'm really pleased that the bride and groom are finding it pretty funny but the rest of it is absolute chaos. From left to right we have a kid with a wobbly tooth, a boy who wants to hide away from all of this BS, a kid that's fallen over and is screaming, a kid that's eating her flower basket, a kid that does not want to be contained and then we have two crying little ones in the arms of the married couple. In total I count one and a half kids doing what they're supposed to out of a possible nine. The half comes from the bridesmaid standing really nicely but looking in the total wrong direction. This picture is actually exhausting to look at so let's move on. Oh dear, we're back to usual scheduling, it's another blooming photobomb at number 6 and this one comes wearing speedos. Hooray. I am sure that the bride and groom could have lived happily ever after without this rando's man bulge interrupting their look of love as they stood next to the water, but nope, there it is forever. Watch out for the cake at number 5, uh oh. The cutting of the cake moment is a really important wedding plotline. It happens at every wedding, everyone lines up to take pictures, everyone loves a piece of cake too. Unfortunately though, I don't think any of the wedding guests are going to be getting any cake this time as the bride and groom appear to be about to feed it to the floor. I love the look on the groom's face in this picture too. These two look like they're a good humoured pair so, you know, maybe they can all work with the 10 second rule. Man overboard at number 4. What would have been a beautiful picture of a wedding party walking down a wooden pier was totally ruined by the fall of one of the groomsmen. At least the wedding photographer was there to capture the moment. The bride and groom clearly weren't the only one taking the plunge that day. I would like to have seen the after photo as well, just him wet and swimming. From one wet groomsman to a very, very wet bridal party, we have this jetty malfunction at number 3. I can see how this probably would have been a really nice picture had the wood that they were standing on totally not collapsed. I do feel bad for them, although it doesn't look like anyone was totally submerged in the water so it could have been a heck of a lot worse. You really really do need to look on the bright side in these situations. Unfortunately there is absolutely no bright side to this situation at number 2. If you ask me, riding a horse into water on your wedding day is asking for trouble. This two part picture extravaganza here sees one snap of the bride about to fall but it looks like she's probably going to regain her posture eventually. But oh no, here comes picture two. We see that sadly it wasn't to be. Picture number two is actually too sad. In the water she goes and at a really ungraceful angle too. I guess that's what you get when you strap a unicorn horn onto a horse though. Her bridesmaid is the absolute worst as well. She looks like she's laughing at her and like if that was me on my wedding day I'd be so upset. Finally coming into number one, this is so disastrous that we can't even really laugh about it. I'd be devastated if this was me. That's right, we have this sea swept bride. It would have been such a nice picture too had the waves not come and totally swept away her and her husband. It probably undid hours and hours of hair and makeup too which is pretty devastating. But really bad for them, I hope they were still able to enjoy their day despite getting a really really big soaking. What would you do if that was you? Drink through it. 
Maybe. So there we have it, that was the top 10 wedding photos that went wrong. Some of them are keepers, other however need to be erased from all memories and photo albums forever. Just to keep the chat going in the comment section, why don't you guys let me know the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? I'm ready to read them and I'll try and respond to a few that I think are really funny. For now, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video and if you found it funny, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more daily videos. I'll see you next time.